Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for April 30th. I'm going to do it on the Slash TF, which is the Rusty 2000, and Slash ES, which is the US 500. And I always like starting on a daily time frame right there, D for daily. And uh, the daily time frame is the largest time frame I go. It just gives me an idea um, of where we are on a larger scale so that it can give me clues um, for intraday opportunities. And so we've been in this really, really nice bear channel, right? So bulls were in control for almost the entire month of April. Going into the end here, uh, the bears have taken back control on this channel right here. Now here's a clue. You can see, though, that we are right on the tip of this bottom channel. And so... Obviously, you can't see the support coming on the daily, right? But you can see how this is starting. Likely, to maybe this will curl back up, right? FOMC came out, and there really wasn't any bad news, so I can't imagine that this is going to hit Tanksville anytime soon. But uh, we go to our four-hour chart, and you can see this support coming, right? And so um, this will be this TF four-hour chart will be the first thing I look at in the morning. This came down, and it caught support at the end of the at FOMC move, right? So this came up, cycled, didn't completely make it all the way, right? Talking about the um, purple chart, like something like that, right there, right? But uh, urged all the way back, and now this will likely want to cycle back up. We'll see, right? And so when I wake up, though, this will be my first look, and maybe some possible dailies underneath here, um, if the four-hour chart is there, right? I'm not going to force anything quickly go look at the uh, TF plot chart. So we're starting outside value, which I don't like. I don't li really like starting outside of value. But here's something, um, several ways to profit from this box. So if price, um, you know, fuddles around here, market opens, there's value area sell trade right there. I, I don't think that one's going to happen in my opinion. I think, I think what's going to happen is it's going to probably get back inside and for me, I would love to try and buy that right there, and um, hoping, and for an 80, and you can even even look for an 80% rule to the upside right there. It will have to get through all of these. So if you have like a spread on and your take profit is the value area high, it's got to get through all of those. But if it does, then you're definitely, it's definitely going to fill, right? And so you can have an 80% rule trade tomorrow. Um, so for me, I would love to be both sides. So I buy value area low, play here, maybe even buy some dailies underneath there. And then that comes up, and then I sell the crap out of that right there. And so I can profit from two ways. Hopefully I can get the buy and then get the sell tomorrow. That'd be awesome, right? It could maybe even come all the way up to, to that minus one. I'm not against selling that area either. So here's the cool thing, that if it does come all the way up there, I will look to come in on Wednesday, Friday and sell anything above there. That'd be nice, okay? And so... Um, I'm not against buying that minus. I'm not against buying those. That's obviously not not going to be my favorite buying those. Um, meaning, right? If price just tanks and then I gotta, you know, it's gonna. Be, I I'm always nervous about trying to catch falling knives. And, right? Instead, if 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 I would like to maybe see it retrace and then maybe get some sell triggers there. If price does not get back inside value, but if it does. I can look for a little bit and then look off to the races up to the upside right there. And so there's also two POCs. And so prices may want to get sucked right there. So that is some opportunities for some out of the money plays there too. So I'm not like totally in love with this chart to be honest, but I am liking that four hour. So if I wake up and price is starting to go here, catch a little bit of resistance, that but that support is happening higher than last support. Um, I'm not against getting some dailies down there. Okay, so I'll quickly go look at the uh, ES. Start on the daily time frame. This looks a little bit different, right? Because it did, it didn't, it isn't getting off on the races like the TF is. Um, Two and one nine all time highs. Um, it has started. It's a nice little bear channel right there. You can see two oh ninety two is the middle. Uh, that's all that is a moving average and so that could be some support coming up right let's quickly go look at the four hour chart and you can see the support coming on the four hour chart so you can start seeing that this may want to curl right you got resistance so 2092 is the moving average Keltner 
on the daily, and then it's also the support Keltner on the four hour. So two hundred. There's a lot going on around two hundred ninety two, and so first thing I do when I wake up, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try and look at this four hour chart potential for buying dailies underneath there. So that's the first thing I'm gonna look at when I wake up. Go to this plot chart. I like this plot chart better than ES because we're starting in value, and so when I wake up in the morning. For me, I'm going to love to try and get a value area low buy and then maybe shoot that all the way back up to value area um, high and then I look for a sell right there. So it's almost the same thing with the TF where I can profit several different ways on this tomorrow, right? And so I'd love this to just kind of come here, down, boom. I get that and um, Again, I'm not against coming down. So 2092 is all of those Keltners. So if price comes right down there, I'm not against buying that. We blow past the minus five. I gotta re, I gotta really, really do some DD, which I call due diligence. If I want to buy anything underneath that minus five, I'd much rather try and get this, sell it, right? So what I mean by that, price comes outside value, tries coming back in and fails, sell triggers right there. And so you can see how it's pretty much the exact same thing every day, but I'm prepared myself, right? Four hour charts, so it looks like we're, we're catching some port, but in the long run, we're bearish. And so I, I can be a buyer tomorrow and a seller. I got my areas already primed, ready to go. So um, message me if you have any questions on this. I will be in my chat. I will be in the chat posting my pictures, and you can post yours as well. And you can also use SVE to try and see and get some signals, and try and see um, if you got any who's in control of the chart, and try and go with who's in control of the chart. So message me if you have any questions on this.